What if I told you there really is a fountain of youth? Would you believe me? Sign me up. Yeah. Possibly? <laughs> well, let's look at this. Vampires have always known it. Lab mice are learning it now. So are we humans going to be next? Are we ready to accept that the long sought after fountain of youth may actually be in our children's blood? In a recent Stanford University study, older mice who were given blood from young mice were able to reverse some of the brain's aging effects. Some researchers hope that these findings may one day help reverse the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Wow. This is intriguing, and I must say, after giving you blood this morning, you look good. You look a lot better. <laughs> well, and we've done it on the show. I mean, it, it stands to reason. We know that blood has all these growth factors and stimulating factors to help us repair, and regenerate, you, and there may be something yeah, to and it. And as yeah. you get older, those factors tend to go down, so giving blood from somebody that has high levels of those factors perks you up. Make sure you well, we're a long way off, from, I think, from really understanding what's going on here. And again, this was just in mice. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to note, we're not sitting here saying, you know, take the blood of one of your younger kids, kids and yeah. drink it <laughs> or do anything Better with it. But th there is some promising research here to be had. Let's talk about what goes on during the aging process, because you have to understand that aging doesn't just occur on the outside, we tend to focus, we look in the mirror, maybe we notice a few wrinkles here and there that weren't there last week or last year. But if we actually look at the human body and what occurs when we age, it really is, we're talking about from the outside all the way through every tissue in the body, human cells, as you age, they have more difficulty replicating, rejuvenating, and repairing themselves. What does that mean for specific organ systems? Well, they're all affected, each and every one. One in particular is the cardiovascular system. Over time, as aging occurs, and certainly depending upon how you live your life, and that's what today's show is all about, living your life to the best to prevent things like what happens in arteries over time. They become less elastic, less compliant. What does that do? It leads to elevated blood pressure in some, with bad diets, what do we get? We get more fat deposits. So over time, your entire cardiovascular system has to work harder. But that's not all. Another very important organ that can be, well, diminished over time, and in fact, starting in our 30s, we can lose brain mass. And of course, what that means is that over time, if you're not doing the right things, inside your brain, not only are you losing volume, brain volume, but neurons, those precious neurons that allow us to think, form memories, and bring up memories, they shrivel and they die if you're not taking care of them. And of course, the one thing that is always probably the most superficial, but is in some ways a very good sign of how you're aging, let's go back to the skin. Because the skin is one of the first things you're obviously gonna see when you look at someone, but over time, that subcutaneous fat layer, which can make that skin look nice and plump, diminishes. And also, all the collagen, the supporting structure of your skin, you lose that. And then not only that, you're getting drier skin, you're getting age spots, and these wrinkles that you're seeing. And the takeaway here is that aging occurs not just on the outside, it occurs really at, every, at the cellular level throughout your body. That's why it's so important that we share these tips. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, for now, the fountain of youth is just reserved for the mice. Lucky mice. <laughs>